What is up guys, Ian here from CoCareer today, taking your mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. Today I just want to talk about money and how money is actually a counterpart of your spirituality. And the trick to having money is having some. So if you're a spiritual being, uh, there comes a point where you realize that like, yes, you can be spiritual, but there's also another side is like you you also have to be physical so you can't you can't just be one-sided and be like oh I'm spiritual I'm going to uh, live on nothing and give all mine to everyone else and I'm going to go in the forest and meditate well sure you can go do that but are you really helping people can you really sustain other individuals like what what are you actually doing? You're more or less just giving good advice. But if you can be spiritual and learn how to live each and every day practically with love, with ambition, with all the spiritual efflorescence that you've learned and create a lot of wealth, you're going to be able to use that wealth for the best for mankind, you can you can use that wealth to uh, donate to charities or to to supply church with needs and supply kids with school tools and whatnot. So basically, it's being spiritual but being material. It's being wooden, and uh, I feel like too many of us think that it, money is a, money is an evil because money is is um, it's greedy it's 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 one of the the deadly sins but I mean if you have that connotation towards money you're obviously not gonna ever have any and you can't tell me that money doesn't make you happy how would you know so I I, I truly believe that like if if you if you don't use your spirituality all the way you're you're kind of half asking it if you're if you say that you're a spiritual person and you're um, very spirit like very one with yourself and you're um, enlightened well why don't you use that and do something with your life that creates wealth for not only yourself but for others you know it's a two-way street you have to be spiritual but you also have to be materialistic so you can share the best with everyone. You might be able to teach someone um, how to be spiritual through uh, material things or you, vice versa. You might be able to teach something very physical through spiritual means. And this whole philosophy comes back to Zen Buddhism. You know, what the Zen Buddhists believe is, is when you are asked something spiritual, I should give you something secular. When I'm asked something secular, I should give you something spiritual. And that, that goes for money as well. It's like, if you want to be spiritual, you have to be a little materialistic. If you want to be materialistic, you have to be a little spiritual. So combining the two and actually creating wealth for yourself in both areas of life is how you're going to really be able to give back to um, Mother Nature and as well as all your um, brothers and sisters You know, I think it's ridiculous that people think that um, Being rich is greedy and is a terrible thing when uh, Like everyone else Okay, the government wants you to be poor and they want you to lack and they want you to um, Be in turmoil when that that has nothing to do with anything that's growing. It, it, it doesn't amplify your spirituality at all. You actually get sucked into the system even more. And if you can become spiritual and actually step out of, outside of that, decentralize yourself, create wealth for yourself, you're gonna be able to um, go back into those places where people are very closed-minded and they're very um, limited and they're thinking and you might be able to change the way that they act through your through your um, 
achievements, you might be able to stir something up within them. And I think that's the most beautiful thing is, is our spirituality might be might not be influential, but our material uh, effervescence of our spirituality might be. And you can't tell me that, um, oh, Ian, you're all you're so materialistic. All you want is money. No, I want money so I can help you even more. I want to have wealth in my life so I have the confidence and I have the intuition of loving myself 100%.